John here. Electricians need to know. Apprentices also need to know measurements. Instead of running around looking for one of these, God gave you some natural measurements that you really need to know. And it saves you a lot of running around trying to find a pencil or a pen or a uh, measuring stick. Now we used to call those uh, rules when I was a young man and as an apprentice and of course when I ask for a rule today they look at me like what's he talking about okay so anyway uh, I use some crutches the IRS uh, gives me back a little change every year and uh, I use a lot of that as a crutch and if you take a dime take a sharp pencil and you draw a circle the diameter of that dime is actually three quarters of an inch. It's perfect three quarters of an inch. The diameter of the penny is a 13 sixteenths and I use that more than I may think. Uh, we do use it. The diameter of the nickel. And now this is an important one for the electricians. It's seven eighths. So very very important for electricians. And also my favorite the 25 cent piece which is a quarter which is one inch. So you, when you draw a circle around it, and you get the, you measure the diameter of that quarter, it's exactly one inch. Now all of these, if you mic them with a micrometer, they would be one sixteenth of an inch less. But when you draw a circle around them, a really tight circle around them, they grow about a sixteenth of an inch, and that makes those measurements perfect. Okay, now the hand. The hand from my thumbnail to the end of my thumb, from my cuticle to the end of my thumb is exactly three quarters of an inch. And I use this a lot, three quarters of an inch. My little finger from the cuticle to the end of my nail is exactly a half inch. Now I keep that filed so I can rely on that a half inch because when I use my half inch measurement, I also put a line in the center which gives me a quarter of an inch and it works out perfect uh, and, I, and if I want to do the center of those, which is an eighth of an inch, and the center of that, which is a sixteenth. So I have a really tight graduated scale from my cuticle to the end of my finger for the first half inch in sixteenths. I like that. It works out really good. Okay. Now, when I'm measuring conduit for an offset, I need usually seven inches or nine inches. So that's seven inches. It's a, it's a natural span for me. Seven inches. Now the the nine inches is my this middle finger down here and this isn't I have to really stretch to get that nine inches but I know I have to stretch to get nine inches so I can use it and it works out and it works perfect okay my fingers alright my fingers two and a half inches for my little finger from from the web up two and a half inches uh, three inches my ring finger three and a half inches my middle finger three and a quarter inches my index finger I guess they call it index finger uh, and two and three quarter inches for my thumb so that's a really good measurement if I need inches okay from from my knuckle uh, to my elbow is 16 inches I use that a lot now studs are 16 inches apart so it's it's a measurement that I know how to measure quickly and easily and I use a lot Okay, from my fingertips to my elbow, 19 inches. And I do use that sometimes. 19 inches. It's great. Okay, so from uh, my, my fist, across my fist is 4 inches. Uh, if, I grab, if I grab something or me measure and cut it off, I get 4 inches uh, of wire or whatever I want to cut off. So uh, your, yours is going to be probably different, either bigger or smaller, depending on your grip and how old your hand is, I guess. Uh, but if you, grip, if you grip wire and hold it out, okay, from there to my armpit is two feet. Perfect, two feet. Center of my chest is exactly three feet. The center of my other armpit is exactly four feet and the outside of my right hand to the outside of my left hand across my chest six feet that is so great because I can measure uh, six twelve eighteen twenty four feet of wire and just nothing flat and I don't have too much 
pardon me, I don't have too much uh, left over, so I'm not wasting a lot of wire. Okay. Uh, my foot, my foot in my old shoes, and <laughs> it's funny because my new shoes are 13 inches. My my foot in my old shoes are 12 inches. The shoe, the the sole is flared out a little bit on the new shoes. But anyway, uh, which is convenient because I can pace off 10 feet. And I would have 10 feet. No uh, heel to toe, heel to toe. Now, a pace. Everyone needs to know their pace so they can pace off 100 feet of wire or whatever. So my pace is shrunk over the years, and I think that comes with age. It kind of changes. But my pace now with my old shoes is exactly two feet, maybe a sixteenth of an inch over. So I can pace out 50 feet and get a 100-foot wire with about eight inches over, if that. Okay. So... Uh, a pace is very important and everyone needs to know their pace. Now with my new shoes, my 50 foot pace would be 108 feet. So it's, it's a lot bigger and I'm wasting a heck of a lot more wire uh, if I use my new shoes. So I try to stay to my old shoes when I do stuff like that. So you need to know your own measurements. You need to be familiar with your measurements. And believe me, it'll save you time and money and it's really convenient to have all those measurements around with you all the time. Okay, thanks for watching.